French indie studio Fusty Game has been pushing a Nintendo release of Hover Revolt of Gamers since development began in 2013. The studio slated the futuristic parkour racing game for a late 2014 release on the Wii U, pushed it to 2015, and is now releasing it on the Switch. Once I first saw the trailer for this game, I was really excited for it, with all the fast-paced gameplay and the bright art style. Well, upon getting my hands on Hover, however, I was immediately underwhelmed with the menus. In handheld mode, the buttons are tiny, they're impossible to see. Additionally, you need to move a cursor over the buttons to press them. This interface was obviously designed for a desktop PC and does not leave the impression that this game was built for the Switch, or even with the Wii U in mind. Not a great first impression. The camera feels like something right out of the Nintendo 64 era. I'll jump onto a wall and the camera will go straight to the back of my character's head. The addition of gyro controls is a nice feature, but in general, the camera is just distracting. There's also frame drops everywhere. It's incredibly disappointing to see how this runs on the Switch, and this kind of experience needs to be smooth. I had no feeling of speed or momentum while playing, which is what attracted me to this game in the first place. The tutorial took me about 20 minutes to get through, and while it gave me a good grasp of the controls, there wasn't really anything that got me too excited about the gameplay. I expected action and constantly flying through the city, but most of the missions in the tutorial were put this item somewhere else or move to this location missions, which didn't really sit right with me. This type of mission structure continues after the tutorial ends and the real game begins. While there are some mildly fun races, most of the missions are pretty uninspired. After the tutorial, I was thrown into a large, overwhelming hub world. There's no structure with regards to which missions you should complete at which time, and where they're located. It's also never clear what you have to do next, so I just kinda ended up roaming around finding anything to do. Online functionality is touted as one of the game's biggest features. You can run along your friends in this big open world, but I can't imagine what things I would actually do with them. There's a story mode of sorts that's referenced in the tutorial and the missions, but nothing really cohesive or interesting. A group of rebels are revolting against the city's new laws that prohibit any type of fun activities. They do this by spreading graffiti and flying through the city. There is really no progression through a storyline besides the tutorial, just random missions everywhere that only sort of introduce you to the characters. I don't recommend Hover Revolt of Gamers on the Switch at all. Even after 5 years of development, it feels incredibly undercooked. The user interface is not intuitive and the gameplay and camera together make it feel like a bad VR game. Maybe it's more fun on a powerful desktop PC, but it just doesn't feel at home here.